Hello YouTube, this is Mark at Bill of Rights. This is a boat I've spent the last two days building. Before I go through a walkthrough with you on it, I've got a slideshow. I want to show you how I got to where I'm at right now. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. This is the half inch sheeting for the bottom of the boat. It is 38 by 96 inches. I'm using Gorilla Glue and number eight by one and a quarter deck screws to fasten the bottom cleats. I'm tapering both sides of the bottom board two and a half inches. From the front, I'm going back three feet. Here, I'm making the cuts. Here, I'm recessing a line three quarter inches all the way around. In this frame, I'm drilling the holes for the side cleats. I'm using a clamp to bend the side cleats as needed to fit the bottom board. Before final gluing, I will mark and cut the cleats. In this frame, I'm fitting the front cleat. One at a time, I'm wiping down the boards with a damp cloth, putting down the glue to screw down the cleats. With the cleats on, I'm now bending the bottom and allowing the glue to set up. Here I'm tapering the side rail from 12 to 8 inches. I'm using this temporary brace to keep the boat from sliding while I screw on the side rails. Before gluing, I prepared the side rail. Here's the side rails installed. This is a support for the back seat. This is the front step installed. This is the supports for the middle seat. Now I'm ready to start sanding and applying the final touches. This is the mount for the trolling motor installed. Okay, what you didn't see me install earlier was this transom. And on both sides, it has a three degree pitch. And you can see here, it's just uh, installed inside the, on top of the, um, the bottom board and inside the side rails. <clears throat> now these side rails, I had difficulty with because I had originally cut, cut them to six inches in here. And these, with the thickness of the boards I'm using, <clears throat> I couldn't make the bends properly. So I recut these to eights which worked out really good. And then we have the front board here, which is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish the boat up in part two. I still have to add the side bumper rails here, top and bottom, and then I've gotta put skid rails along the bottom. Uh, and I'll probably put three of them, you know, center and then one over here and one over there. And then I've got to figure out how I want to seal the boat, whether I'm going to fiberglass or, or use some kind of an epoxy. Um, this boat's very heavy, and I feel like it's going to be fairly watertight as it is. So with the extra things I do on the outside, I'm, I know that that'll make it where it floats. So I'll get back to you in part two. Thanks.